So I am on the GBI 2021 Omero workshop walkthrough again. We are here in the summary in the part which says analysis with third party tools. Let's start with analysis with Fiji manual. If I scroll below past the core concepts, the search, the, uh, the bits which we didn't do, Omero parade will still come, Omero figure we did. We are here in the analysis section, okay? Analysis with Fiji, and you can follow what I'm showing here with the guides, starting with the setup and going through uh, I will not wait for you because the setup uh, is as it is. Maybe you don't have Fiji locally or whatever, uh, but as I say, you can follow it up. This is maybe a good point to uh, set something clear. This walkthrough, as well as the presentation I was showing, as well as the walkthroughs, which we will use for the IDR tomorrow and the presentation will stay there for you on that downloads.openmicroscopy.org place kind of forever. Okay, of course, take it with a pinch of salt, but you know, long term. The uh, other thing is nevertheless with the training server, by the training server, I mean, of course, this, this environment, this training server here in Dundee, where you have your credentials, the password uh, GBI 21 and user so and so. Okay, what about that? Well, this is another resource which we provide for the workshop and we are able to keep it up for some time for use after the workshop. How long will that time be? Um, let's say uh, until I think we can say two weeks. Yeah, two weeks from today, two weeks from today, uh, the um, server will not be there for your use anymore. So you are feel free to go through that walkthrough as I'm showing you now, all what I'm doing, you can do as well, okay? I, I didn't do anything which you cannot do, yeah? Up till very, up till this very moment where you might say, oh, my Fiji doesn't have the plugin and so, but you can do it later, that's fine, that's still fine. And you can connect to that server and do anything with the image except deletion as I, as I asked you for and uh, continue with your experience like so. Yeah, the, um, what will happen after those 14 days? Well, I will simply change the password. Will there be any warning? No, there will be no warning. Okay, uh, that's, that's life. We will need it for another training. Uh, this will go from away from under your feet. Please be mindful about that. That's that's how it is. We can keep the resource for you for 14 days. Okay. I hope that you that you understand the, the reasoning here. And nevertheless, how do you how do you continue with your Omero experience? Well, uh, you can go to the Open Microscopy website. There is a button called Explore. And there is a button sign up, sign up for Omero server, demo server, okay? Now be mindful about the so-called SLA service level agreement. It basically says that you have no guarantee on anything, okay? But there will be an environment which you will use in a midterm. Your account in all probability will not be deleted. What might be deleted though is the data you are importing there. As you can imagine, we cannot store uh, gigabytes of your data for eternity as new users want to use the demo server for the purposes of familiarizing themselves with Omero. And thus uh, the service level agreement is here. Uh, one day the data are there of yours, the other day they are not, we delete them. Is there any warning? No, there is no warning, okay? Bearing that in mind though, use that freely. There is no limit, okay, uh, for the data you are uploading. But I hope that you get the picture now, okay? There is no limit, but there are hooks, there are things which we which we simply do to protect ourselves yeah like the freedom to delete your data okay 
Very good. So this is the landscape. That's what you can get from us uh, with regards to servers and materials. And let's go through the Fiji workflow. Da -da. Analysis with Fiji. Here we go. I will go through the Omero guides. I installed into my Fiji this glue software by downloading it from the Open Microscopy website. And this allows me to do this. I can start my Fiji. This is running locally on the Mac, but can run on Windows as well, of course. And after that, when the Fiji comes, in my plugins, there is a new item called Omero. Yes, of course, a Fiji updater, which of course has to be always enjoyed with caution. Um, Omero, connect to Omero. Okay, so I'm inside my Fiji. This is happening locally on this Mac. I did not connect to the server yet. I say connect to Omero. Now, mind you, this is a very important spanner here. It basically says which server I'm connecting to. You know by now that this name of the server is workshop.microscopy.org. Let's do it. Apply. Okay, it's the spanner, spanner icon. This will trip you if you don't if you don't read carefully the doc. Okay. And I will put in my credentials. These are the same credentials as you have for the web interface. There is no difference. And this desktop application, this desktop client of Omero called Fiji, okay, um, uh, is connecting to the Omero server, which is sitting down the hill. And I'm having here, unsurprisingly, the same hierarchy in Omero, which I can browse and view. These are the images uh, you, you might remember, okay. These are the images from before. Very good. By the way, this is the uh, this is here the blastocyst image, which you will see a couple of times yet, which will be used uh, in uh, the workshop of the cloud compute uh, cloud based com um, sorry cloud based data sharing, which happens on Friday. Okay, two days from now within this course uh, and uh, you will you will see that image it's a it's an image from coming from idr okay so uh, you can inspect it on this server as well um very good what do i want to do i have here a data set specifically prepared for fiji that's nice and let me just select an image which doesn't have regions of interest like so I double click on that image and you would expect it will open in Omero. No, that's not the case. I'm running actually the whole thing here now inside my Fiji. And when I double click on that image, it will open in Fiji. This assumes that the image, this was a bioformats window, which I clicked off. This assumes that the image must be transported um, from the uh, Omero server locally to uh, my Mac and run in the working memory of my computer inside the application, which is once more called Fiji. Okay. Uh, as Fiji does trans the transportation of the image as a whole, it took a couple of seconds. The iViewer nevertheless, which is an Omero client, didn't do such gymnastics. It did something more clever uh, because it's using Omero API and uh, it fetched only the plane which you were viewing. This is a different situation now, nevertheless. In Fiji, you can also draw regions of interest. The, um, the way to do it is a little bit different than iViewer. You just simply click and drag and drop, and then I can adjust the region of interest like so. Mm -hmm. Now I want to add the region of interest uh, into the region of interest manager in Fiji. This is done by hitting a shortcut called T, T like, like T, okay? Uh, it, the shortcut is nicely illogical and that's why it's easy to remember, kind of. So I hit T and the region of interest manager in Fiji opens and I have um, now the possibility to do some um, analysis. 
harvest some data results i click on a measure and i have some results uh, table here now typically you would like to of course do something more interesting but uh, this is just a demo a region uh, a region of interest of course you would like to harvest as a result the the region of interest and the results table from it and store it in a reasonable manner in fiji you can use the plugin omero save royce to omero and with one click i will also save the measurements table i will say that the measurements table is called gbi true because this is a true run not a training and say save and it's a saving okay after which and there will be a message that the <clears throat> roy and the table uh, has been saved and i will go back to omero web and uh let's say view that region of interest on this very image in Omero iViewer yeah you trust me that's the that's the very funny long uh, rectangle I was uh, drawing in front of you in Fiji and now it says a region of interest inside Omero. Okay, there is no connection now between this uh, object and uh, Fiji. In fact, it has been simply kind of uh, imported into Omero. And I can now go all the way. I can, let's say, close the image in, uh, in Fiji and reopen it from Omero. Now it's important that I have the checkbox checks called display Roy. I say, okay. And again, Fiji will be fetching the image from the server. And you see now I have two Roy's in my Roy manager. The image is hiding here. Why two? Well, because the second one is the one which has been uh, now imported from Omero. So I made the whole, um, I made the whole trip. I fetched the image to uh, Fiji, I created a region of interest there, the state in my ROI manager, then I saved the ROI back on the image in Omero, and then I fetched the whole image again together with the ROI from Omero, and now I have two ROIs here. Of course, um, uh, not to totally sensible, but uh, you can see the potential. You can save the regions of interest and you can also save the table. You can see that this has an, an attachment here now, which says, which says GBI true. That's the one which is coming from Fiji. I can click on it now and open with Microsoft Excel. Ta -da, and yes, this is the image center in PCN, min max. And so this table can be under circumstances and is, is already much richer ferret, uh, ferret Y, ferret angle, min ferret. This is not something Omero will give you. Um, uh, so you can see already, you can start using the potential of Fiji, which is um, orders of magnitude greater with the respect to image analysis than Omero like so. So anything you would like to do with this image here is possible now inside Fiji. It is in Fiji image. For example, I can do crop. Let's just do it. I can go image, crop. Very good. So this image was cropped. And then I can go and say plugins Omero, save images to Omero. Now something like an importer appears. I will go and i will put okay very good after a short while the data set were loaded so this widget knows what data sets are available inside omero or i can create a new one i add the image to the queue very good this was added here to the queue i click import and the image will be imported directly with two clicks from uh, fiji it's already done into Omero. So you can mind you, I have here four images in this AFG data. So if I click the refresh button, let's get rid of that. If I click the refresh button, there will be five images. Very nice. One of which is the crop I just created in Fiji. There is no crop function in Omero. 
So you can see uh, what power gives you that plugin. And uh, uh, you can, of course, go further just to recapitulate why, why did I show you this slightly funny uh, workflows? Well, I just tried to show you that you can save new images coming as a result of your analysis in Fiji, new regions of interests, you can call them segmentations or whatever, new as well as new tables with results into Omero. These three things are typically the most important when you are doing image analysis, okay? Everything was done in the user interface, no scripting um, necessary, okay? So this is for Fiji uh, with the manual workflow. Now let's start to be a little bit more fancy, okay? And um, mainly, of course, sensible in some sense. Let's try to segment this image in Fiji. So I will again double click on it and reopen it. In the meantime, very good. I will clean out the ROIs because they make no sense. Yep, done. Now these are two centrioles there, yeah? One, two, uh, very small objects. Um, I would like to segment them. For that, I go image 8-bit because the segmentation in Fiji goes like that. Um, then uh, also threshold. I need white object on black background. That's simply an experience, of course. Um, I choose max entropy and then I say, okay. So this is a thresholded image now. And now I can use the Analyze Particles plugin in Fiji. So this would be 10 to infinity pixel units, that's fine. And these settings are fine. Process all three images, why three? Because there are three channels, okay? I say yes. Uh, he will clean out the measurements table, uh, which I'm happy about, I care about the previous measurements. So I say, don't save. Okay. Hmm. And you can see that the regions of interest indeed appeared here. Okay. Very good. And now I can again go and, and save those regions of interest. Uh, th they are much more sensible now, of course. I can save those regions of interest into Omero, but you know that step, that's good. Uh, so you can do sensible analysis in Fiji as well, that's fine, but that's not why I was doing that. Let's, let's uh, delete those ROIs and think again about how do we work on, how do we work on uh, many images in, in one go, okay? I should have been showing you this one. It show, doesn't matter. Um, for that, I would like to I would like to uh, create a recipe and in image J of Fiji world, this is called macro, okay? And you probably know that you can record a macro in uh, Fiji image J if you go and say plugins macro uh, record, okay? There is a macro recorder and I can go again so I can go and say Fiji uh, image type 8-bit, okay? Uh, because this is already an 8-bit image, then it doesn't pop, pop in the line. So let me just uh, reopen, reopen that image. No, not this one, okay. Okay, we open this one. I don't want the Royce just to be faster. But now my uh, recorder in Fiji is running already. So you see it's recording already. It, it actually recorded the run eight bit, but well, whatever. 
I want to record from now on, okay? This is a freshly opened image. I click on that, I go image type 8-bit, a new line appears, 8-bit, very good. Image, uh, adjust, uh, auto threshold, um, max entropy, very nice. Okay, new line appears in the recorder. This is thresholded, very good. Analyze, analyze particles with those parameters, uh, show nothing, na na na, okay. Process all three images, yes. Don't say the measurements, very good. So new line appeared. This is probably the most important with all the parameters in the macro recorder, okay? You can see that the regions of interest are there again. Okay, so some segmentation happened and I can, um, yeah, I can delete what I don't need from the recorded stuff and I say create and I will create a macro. So this is the way how to segment this type of images. I know that now. Well, um, I knew that before, as you can imagine, we needed uh, gazillion trials to, to achieve that, yeah? As you, but you all do image analysis, you know what I'm talking about. That's why you want to capture it, okay? So um, you go and say, file, uh, save as, and it says macro IJM IJM. So I will call it GBI real macro. Save it. This was saved on my local um, machine directly in my home folder. I will I will go and save it in GBI 2021 because uh, that makes more sense. And I can now go and attach it to that image in Omero. Okay, so uh, I went to Omero web, I clicked on that image, which I was, uh, which I was analyzing previously in Fiji. I say browse and under my home folder, there is GBI 2020, GB real macro IJM. Except this is actually the case I was mentioning uh, when I was describing the attachments, yeah, just before the break. Um, so I have here the GBI real macro and I can open it uh, again. I can save the file. This is now saved on my, uh, on my server. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's how it looks like. And I will do now a kind of similar thing. What I was doing, I will have two options basically. I can now uh, insert this snippet of code which was recorded for me by Fiji into my script and run it as a script. Or I can run a uh, another script which would uh, harvest this bits of code and uh, run it on a Fiji headlessly. I will show you only the first case, okay? I will have a script which is ready to go and we will recognize these bits of code inside that script. Where is the script? And why do I need the script actually? Well, because I want to run the whole process on many images. That's why I remembered the recipe and that's why I have a script. And that's why I have the Omero API to be able to repeat these steps, which are of course very manual and very boring and um, very prone to misclick um, on let's say 414 images. Mm -hmm. And this uh, walkthrough is, is hiding uh, somewhere here. Namely, scripting, okay. Segment Omero data using the scripting editor in Fiji. It's the script analyze data set and save Roy as a summary table in Groovy. I will open the link in a new tab. Right, let's go again. I will save the file. <clears throat> yeah. 
open it in my local editor. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, the script is basically first connected to Omero using the API. That's fine. Uh, then there are some helper methods. Um, the open image is quite important, of course, using the bioformats which are uh, shipped with Fiji. Then there is a helper method which saves regions of interest to Omero and it creates also the uh, Omero tables and um, saves it. So these are all helper methods, uh, saves also a CSV and uploads CSV to Omero. Okay. Now this is uh, the body of the script. Um, and it just, uh, yeah, it just opens the image using the helper methods as defined above and asks you for credentials. And then it will uh, use the bits which we were recording from, uh, from the macro, which we simply pasted here. Yeah, you can recognize the, the commands ij run 8 bit, ij run also threshold, ij run analyze particle then some setting of measurements and uh, then some cleaning up in the PG UI and the saving of CSV and saving of the table as uh, objects in Omero to the proper image. Uh, actually, the um, script is targeting the whole data set. Okay, so I can now go and Da, da, da. Copy that script. And in Fiji interface, I can go file new script and paste it there. And I can select a language and so it's a groovy script. Groovy is something like Java, okay? It's, it's Java, which you don't have to compile. Mm -hmm. And then I simply say run now. I have to put in my credentials. Dataset ID is of course hugely important. Mm -hmm. It's right here, it's the Fiji dataset. I will first of all delete that crop image. This will just confuse us. And the Fiji data set has an ID here. I don't need that thing, but it just obstructs me. So it's 2920. Yeah, so that's where I'm harvesting the data set ID from. 2920, in this dialogue is better to type it in. 2920, yeah, I'm happy and let's go. Now the images will be open one by one, okay? There is some output in the console, you can see that it's, and now there is a progress bar and the first image is, is here. I just have to, uh, yeah, I just have to do some adjustment. You can see it always opens the image. Now it now it uh, does, it did three images, but uh, I just need to adjust it because you see that the regions of interest are encompassing the whole image. This is because uh, my version of Fiji needs to, needs the, And it's the um, setting where I have white uh, objects on black background or white, vice versa, yeah. So I just have to add the word white here and I will run the script again. Okay, and after a short while, 
the, you see these regions of interest are much more reasonable now. I hope that you can follow it. Um, so the image will, now it's popping up. Now the regions of interest were created, okay? So, and if I go to Omero and uh, refresh, uh, then I have, then I have some regions of interest here, okay? And these are coming from Fiji. So that's how the regions of interest were created. It, they were saved into Omero using, using this script, okay? Uh, using the methods and the routines as I, as I highlighted. Well, uh, maybe you are not confident in doing scripts, but that's why we are providing the script for you there. Okay, so if you go to that walkthrough, the, the script is there for your per use and um, right here, and you can simply adjust it, yeah? The thing is, uh, yes, you can, um, you can experience, uh, and you will very probably experience some, uh, some things which need to be adjusted because you will have your local Fiji. That's, that's, the, that's, that's the game of the, of the local environment. We have nevertheless also the, uh, the other, uh, environment uh, recipe where you can spin up uh, um, Fiji in a cloud or lo even locally inside a Docker on your computer and run much more stable, uh, run the whole workflow in much more stable environment. I will not do it uh, in this one because the time, the time is uh, progressing, okay? Uh, but uh, bear in mind, everything is there. Uh, if you have questions, if you have uh, consult, first of all, the Omero guide, and, and then uh, um, have a look at, at that, it will simply give you into your hand something quite stable where you can run the segmentation uh, on those images. But mainly, of course, it teaches you how to create such recipes and workflows. Yeah, We don't expect you to um, to reproduce this uh, ultimately less useful analysis for you. It just shows you what is possible. The other thing I wanted to mention before we go into uh, Omero Parade is uh, inside the walkthrough as well. And it's saying analysis in Omero using Elastic optional and analysis in Omero using Cell Profiler optional. Um, that's very nice. Um, nevertheless, the time spent by that is again, something we don't have. Uh, we have nevertheless a walkthrough for Elastic, which is uh, up and coming. It, yeah. The thing is for people, if if you are uh, developing in Python and you want to interface, this show you how to interface using the Python API with third party tool like Cell Profiler or Elastic. And it contain the repository will con contains uh, script notebooks and um, how to set it up also into a virtual environment. So all a local environment, if you're using Conda and you want all the dependency, everything is, uh, it's it's available for you to, to do that via scripting. Okay, uh, unfortunately, the this link somehow is, is, is not working for me at this moment. Uh, when this, that should happen, that's, that's the thing uh, which I was highlighting, use the Omero guides on their own, okay? You go to Omero guides, you scroll a little bit down, and then there is the elastic icon. If you are an elastic user, you can uh, you can read that through, and have this as an example if you are using Python. But uh, mentioning the mentioning the Python, uh, yeah, it's it's also possible to find the Python section in the guides. Okay, so there is a Python API. There are yet more examples, and indeed, actually, the uh, cell profiler example is also a Python example. So you can read that as well um, at your leisure. And not only read, you can actually create the environments, run Cell Profiler, run Elastic in those environments, yeah, run Fiji. And you won't have to, if, if you run them into the, in, into that, uh, that environment, into my binder, as Peter alluded, 
you don't have to install anything locally and you can connect to the server that P uh, Peter had given you the credentials. So as he was indicating, that would be available for two weeks. So you can explore this example uh, later on. So that will be still available after the course, after today. So very good. And this brings us to, Sorry about the link. I think we will fix that uh, in in that in the PDF. Yeah, but as I said, don't despair. If if something in the PDF should not link, the main thing is to remember that some link will work, and it brings you to this top link docs Omero guide, and then there are those nice icons. Yeah. Um, sorry about that. So. Um, one thing to mention, which I will mention very quickly uh, after I, very good, that's, that's again my walkthrough, okay. Um, what is written here, we just discussed these two items. There is a server-side analysis, I will show it very quickly, and for that, uh, it's, this is like my stepping stone to go into Omero Parade and uh, wrap it up. So uh, this, for this, I will go to the Omero web again. So you do that with me, please. And um, it's the tab which, which says web client here. Yeah, you see where my mouse is hovering. You, you please do the same, yeah? And for that, uh, I will uh, be able now to being logged in to first show you uh, the server-side scripts, okay? Just just as a teaser, uh, here uh, uh, on the top right above the center pane, there are icons. One of them looks like two cogs. And uh, if you click on that, a drop-down menu will appear with some uh, folders where uh, there are server-side scripts in them. Ultimately, a server-side script would be for your users. And these are scripts which can be written in several languages, but have uh, there is a Python interface uh, and they run directly on the server. So they are on the server machine close to the data. And you can have scripts such as Chimograph, um, it doesn't matter, you probably don't use Chimograph or whatever, but it pre-populates the image ID of the selected image into the box. And this interface you can get for free if you want to write such scripts for your users, um, you can. And uh, we have also in Omero Guides an example about how to do it, how to write it and how to upload it. And then for the user, the experience is very, very straightforward. Uh, such as you, you go to the chymograph and then select the image, then select the script, it's pre-populated ID of the image, you say run script and it runs the chymograph and you can see that already plenty of chymographs were generated here, okay? So um, this is a very nice way how to extend Omero if you would like to do so. And it, to, to clarify one point as Peter said, uh, you can run any any script in you could have script written in matlab for example that you want to run on the server assuming you have matlab uh, available obviously but what the key part is you need a, a python wrapper around that script so uh, uh, in order for the scripting engine to to understand it and build the ui uh, on the fly from the parameter of the script so if it's a different language always having a python wrapper that's a message Sorry for the interruption. Peter. No, very good, and thank you. And um, so, let's leave the scripting uh, where it is now. Yeah, I hope that you understand that this thing is there, and we can discuss in depth at your leisure. Um, let me draw your attention to the portfolio of um, Trainer One. Okay, you go please and do exactly what I do. Click on the top left on the Lab One, Lab One. Scroll down. Trainer one, okay? Click on trainer one. Basically navigate to my data, me here being trainer one, okay? You are who you are, but you can uh, see, uh, view and annotate my data, okay? And expand the project idea 21. Now, this is the project from which the uh, data which we were exploring in Fiji are coming. It's a project uh, which is uh, deposited in IDR, 
image data resource we will we will talk about it tomorrow and uh, it has 10 data sets with super resolution images and uh, we basically did what i was all the time alluding to during the fiji workflows where we analyzed these 414 images using fiji and the segmentations meaning the origins of interest were saved back to omero as well as the results and by the results i mean a double thing uh, i mean two things uh, omero tables as well as csv so what do we have here i have here two attachments one is called summary from fiji that's the omero table once more how did the omero table come to life it was uh, created by a script similar to the one i was showing you a minute ago in fiji okay you can click on the eye icon here this will show you the omero table in a new tab and you can query such table okay uh, line by line using the omero api that's fine. You can also have the CSV attached, which was done by the by the script. It's a CSV, so you can open it in Excel, but you can't necessarily view it in Homero. Uh, why uh, the two? Because uh, these two files have following properties. They have um, the uh, obviously rows and columns, but in each uh, row is an image and um, so an image has one row all right uh, this is a little bit of a limitation maybe of omer parade but let's not go into that if you have such file it basically gives you a <coughs> space where you can explore the images and navigate and filter them uh, and mine the data inside those 414 images using the access to those images via the, the data encompassed in those files. For that, you will use a plugin for Omero Web, which is called Omero Parade. Um, so Omero Parade is a plugin for a central pane. On the top right, you can click down on Omero Parade. It says no open data sets, but uh, this is because Omero Parade operates only on open data sets. I can open all of those data sets now by clicking open all. And you can see that I have here some filtering capabilities immediately, which are superior to the ones uh, which were from the web uh, in the web client itself. I, let's say do a row count, and uh, I do row count again. Two filters of row count. Uh, one is bigger than uh, 15 and smaller than. 36 okay you can see that this changed and uh, basically these images have uh, ranges of interest numbers uh, so of course that's people. yes yes of course thank you uh, that's better that makes more sense so this indeed is bigger than 15 and smaller than 36 and if i click on that image it has uh 19 uh, or 18 regions of interest okay so this is between those two numbers um that's how you use those filters you can remove the filters like so, and this of course filters the um, the uh, central pane out. And you can now click on the column view, uh, where you can add columns to this view by uh, clicking on the second widget saying add table data. So for example, I will add um, table total area. This adds the table total area as a new column here and i can then explore that um, and table bounding box and um, table image i think would be somewhere here very good now um, let me come to the point these uh, these values are indeed from the omero table that's the thing i showed you just here uh, in the in the attachments, uh, the thing with the eye on it, okay, I would have to select the, the data set, no, the project, and indeed. Okay, let's play with that later. But uh, what is here pre-populated in the, 
um, in these items are the columns from the Omero table. Now, there are also other columns which are coming from the CSV. As you see, it says idea 020 on merge result.csv slice count. Uh, in this case, uh, it's a bit redundant because the CSV is repeating the values which are in the table. It's coming from the same script. And the reason why is that is simply didactic. We, can, we are showing that you can do the same when using the CSV and when using the table. So you are not bound to one type of file only. You can go via CSV, it just is advantages and disadvantages or via the table. Uh, but Omero Parade will uh, accept both. And that's why, because I have both, it lists both, okay? This can have interesting walkthroughs, uh, such as that you can compare the values and images inside those two different CSV, which you will attach to the same uh, project, that's fine. So having the values here, I can now, um, color code the rows, I can uh, show the results per data set, or I can sort them out uh, directly uh, for the whole project. There will be no gap between data sets. I can select the table bounding box, which is basically the area of the box which encompasses the region of interest. This is the total area of the region of interest. The black area means simply that there are no regions of interest on that image. Okay, they are, this has a very high total area, the dark red and these ones have very small total area. This means that the uh, data were slightly reduced because I of course uh, mentioned that you need one single row per image. So uh, the uh, reduction which was done in this case was that the, only the region of interest with the maximum uh, area for that image was taken, okay. And uh, I can now click on the on the small icon on the top right, which says uh, graph. And I have graph now. Every uh, point in this graph is representing an image. I can change the axis uh, like so. Table total area against the table total area. Let's put it against table bounding box. Okay, and I can now select these points. Let's say these two points I'm not sure that I like uh, because they have a little bit too big table bounding box as compared to the table total area. And I can now go and uh, let's say select them like so with the right click and open with Omero Eye Viewer. Okay. And inspect those two images um, in Omero Eye Viewer. Um, am I happy with the regions of interest here? For example, on this one, if I select the ROI tab, you can see that this is the biggest region of interest. That's the one which went into the uh, Omero table. And uh, of course, I'm not happy. There are two centrioles here, one, two, and that's why I should have two regions of interest there. Instead, I have one region which encompasses both centrioles, and yet it has some whiskers on the sides. So I can confidently uh, discard this region of interest as invalid from my analysis. And this was, of course, an example how Omer Parade helped me to do some uh, quality assurance. So um, now, uh, with the last uh, last click, let me just show you. I can, for example, uh, click select here this point. These are three points, and go here and say open in Omero Figure. Okay, and uh, of course I could have uh, selected the images, uh, putting very complex uh, constraints on why and where do I select them and how is the position of those images in this particular graph and change the parameters here, as you can imagine. And in this smooth way, uh, go into Omero figure and do what I was showing to you during uh, the morning session. I think that uh, that we are kind of approaching the end of, of this workshop because it's kind of uh, approach half past one. I would like to leave the space for debriefing and discussion questions. 
and uh, thank you very much for your attention. Maybe Peter, you could could you show maybe the from figure from parade you can, op, you know, you select uh, images and then send them to figure because one key part is there is all the ROI that was generated by a third party in that case Fiji. You can then reuse them also in figure, so you're not bound to the one that were created on the manually. Yes, so I can I can do this maybe and wow sorry my uh, firefox is killing me a bit oh. no he will not do it of course not okay it's probably because the link is not there like that uh, nevertheless i can I can do what Jamari said, and I can have quite a few images from uh, from the Omero parade selected like so. And now we can go we can go and add some regions of interest. So there are plenty of regions of interest on those images. If I roll them, you can see quite a few. This one looks sensible. What else? This one looks sensible. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the key point is they were all generated by, exactly. by Fiji. And that's, uh, so you can use Parade to filter the, the output and the one you're interested in, you can then send them very quickly and to make a figure and use this ROI generated by a third party tool. Yeah. So now, now I can really make them shine. I can, I can, let's say, say that they are yellow and uh, make them thicker. So it's, it's really very fast. For how did you get, I hope that you remember the bridge here. Yeah? How, how did we went via the Fiji, via then the selection in Omero Parade and Omero Figure. And now I'm already at the doorstep of the nature publication where I'm creating the PDF then with one click and sending them to, to the journal. Okay. 